In this video, we'll walk through the process of taking an oil sample from a Ford F-150 and a Jeep Liberty. The procedure will be similar for almost any engine with a dipstick. Before you begin, make sure you have all the tools and materials needed. The oil analysis kit includes a bottle and the related forms and a supplies to return it to the lab. You need a hand-operated vacuum pump and clean tubing to extract the sample. To get the proper length for the hose, make it the same length as the dipstick plus an extra amount to reach the pump. Use a piece of tape to mark the tubing where it will be located at the top of the dipstick. The hose is inserted into the pump and tightened. The oil analysis kit comes with a sample bottle, data form, sealable envelope, and instructions. The bottle screws onto the pump. There's a line about a half inch from the top. Fill it to that point. Stick the tubing into the dipstick tube up to the tape mark. That locates the end of the tubing at the proper point in the oil pan. The pump will create a vacuum and pull oil up the tube. Here you can see oil coming up the tube and starting to fill the bottle. When the bottle is almost full, pull the tube up a little bit to empty the tubing of oil. It sounds just like a straw sucking the last drop of a milkshake. The hose has served its purpose and can now be discarded. Carefully remove the bottle and put the cap on it. Wipe any oil from the pump so it doesn't contaminate the next sample. Fill out the information sheet that comes with the sample kit and attach the matching sticker to the bottle. Also have a couple of different stickers where you send the sample to. This one, this one can go to either Indianapolis or Houston. Or it looks like another one in Utah. Okay, here's the second one. We're starting with the Jeep. Use the dipstick to measure the tubing. The proper amount is the length of the dipstick plus enough to get to the pump. Mark the length of the dipstick from the tip of the dipstick to the location of the top of the dipstick tube. This is how far the tubing extends into the dipstick tube to extract the sample. Attach the hose to the pump. This is a kit six. The oil analysis kit comes with a sample bottle, data form, sealable envelope, and instructions. The bottle and the kit screws are right on the pump.
Stick the tubing into the dipstick tube up to the tape mark. That locates the end of the tubing at the proper depth in the oil pan. Here you can see oil coming up the tube and starting to fill the bottle. It's almost full, so we'll lift the tubing to clear the oil. That's it. We'll take this out because we don't need it anymore. Get our sample off of here. And again, we'll clean this up good so it doesn't contaminate the next sample. The matching label goes on the bottle to identify the sample. The information sheet goes in the pocket in the bag. The bottle goes into the sealed bag. Instructions are included. Send to one of the oil analyzer's labs using your favorite method. Here I'm using a USPS small flat rate box for two samples. In a few days, you get an email with a report on wear metals, additives, and comments on what some of the results might indicate. If you like this kind of stuff or find it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. For information on how the AMSOIL Preferred Customer Program can save you money on AMSOIL products, including the oil analysis kit shown here, go to MidwestSynthetic.com. Thanks for watching.